Welcome back everybody, it's Paul Maglev here and we're going to play another game. It's another sequel of Stormwinds. Stormwinds, the Lost Campaigns. So I would like to uh, sit back and let you hear this voiceover. Uh, tells a little narrative about what happened after the last successful campaign where we fended off all of the airships and their steampunk machinery and stuff and... Anyway, I'll just let I'll just get to it. It has been four years since the last attack. We held our ground, held off their invasion, and paid the price. Faith broken, lives destroyed. It was time to prepare for an invasion of our own. Four years of rebuilding. Four years of silence, until they returned once again, carried like a storm on the wind. Four years was washed away as a tsunami washes over an anthill, and this time I'm afraid all may be lost. So yes, it's Stormwinds, The Lost Campaigns. And I would like to say that it is time to start a new game with me as the player. I am here to save the country from the enemy forces, which seem to have come back in mass, if you can actually see that from this really dark screen. So let's see, what's our first campaign? Uh, Eastern Forest, Frozen Peaks, Desolate Hills. Insane, the 25. Uh, so I'll probably start on this side. Sea Station, easy! Ah, it already says I have the campaign completed. That's because I tried to record this earlier, like, about two weeks ago, and for some reason, it didn't quite work out. So, uh, with this new headphone, or headset I have, I'm going to use the new microphone to do another voiceover commentary thingamabobber as I play this game! This time, I'm afraid I'll maybe lost. Captain John Patterson, war hero of the 2nd Gunnery Division. I don't need no introductions. So, what am I going to get? This has extra contents, like the spread machine gun, which is not going to be useful for me at the moment. I think I'm going to use something that relies on skill shots. And one of the additions to this game that I like very much other than the disc launcher, which actually doesn't do much for me, is the barrier decoy. Oh, I have no points with which to increase. It's, uh, health. I don't have points to increase the health of this either. Or its damage output. So, what am I going to build next? I think I'm going to get this. Just to deal with... Now it's asking if I want to... Uh actually stick with two primary weapons? The answer is yes, because relying on the heavy cannon is a pain in the ass when I have to shoot tiny things. One of the things I like also about this version is that all of the heavy cannon's artillery is actually a color other than just a solid black pate. It actually has a texture. Something tells me I am in a heap and help and of trouble because I am having bombs dropped on me like crazy. However, I would think that the invasion uh, firsthand would actually be uh, insane, much more difficult because uh, I don't know. I'll explain it later. It gets easy and then it gets harder. I'm not entirely sure why the geography of 
that would be justified because once you get to the capital, arguably there should be less forces because the other uh, control points that were lost came at the price of enemy forces, which they should have spent trying to get all of the points to begin with. And what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is the difficulty should be inverted, where the most amounts of forces should be coming from the sea instead of being straight at the capital from the get-go because that just makes the most sense, at least in my perspective. And I missed. And I missed again. Drat. Uh, yes, I would like to allow this to uh, take place. Uh, let's see. Max out health. Increase damage. Increase health, maybe? Increase fire rate? Sure. No, I can't do that. It costs three uh, upgrade points, so I will upgrade this. And I forgot to repair everything. Now that is a disgusting abomination if I've ever seen an airship. Uh, it's just so ugly! I meant to actually click on the other weapon so I could shoot the uh, machine gun, but I guess my skill shots would do. Now this is what I was talking about, that was an ugly abomination. It's so ugly! And I missed again. I'm gonna miss this again. Yep. And again. And again. Yay! I actually hit it for once. I am so out of practice using skill shots. At least skill shots with arcs. So that worked out. And I should be able to fend off the enemy forces uh, for many, many waves to come. Let's see. That should do it. I'm not sure what else to talk about at this point. I seem to have gotten all the talk out of my system. I'm probably just going to spend some more time at school, spending quality time with friends at lunch. I do have something coming in the mail. Not that I already didn't have something else that already arrived in the mail, but that's a different story. Basically, I wanted to get something to complement some other stuff I got over the last year or so. And I think this should suffice, uh, what I've just ordered. It should come in about a business week, because eBay shipping is not as awesome as Amazon Prime. There's a reason they call it Amazon Prime. I want to switch weapons, please. Thank you. Do I have to do any repairs? I shouldn't have to do any repairs, really. I'll increase health of the barrier. I will increase damage for my heavy cannon artillery shells. 
And I'll increase the health of my... What is this? It's the machine gun, that's all I know. Dual machine gun, that's right. Yay, classic music! Now this is a really weird contraption, it just parachutes. Not entirely sure if it's even able to float on the water. And I keep missing all the good stuff. I gotta hit the vulnerable spots like the parachute slash balloon slash whatever that is. It's not round enough to be a balloon, but it's a parachute. But it's a parachute that's got lift from rising hot air, so I don't know what you call it. Science fiction? Is that what we call it? I'm at a loss for words. There we go. That should... Uh, that should suffice. And this thing has so much health that nothing touches it. Or at least anything that tries to touch it doesn't actually do much damage. Or even try because I think I am stopping them from doing damage in the first place by actually stopping them on the top right corner of the screen before they even get a chance to deal damage. I don't know they have airships like this in real life. It's awesome. This looks awesome. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that they're subject to the wind. If they're large and blimp-like, I guess. Oh, there's one more. This tiny little drone. There we go. No need for repairs. I am ready to go. With one hit KOs. As well as two hit KOs. Oh, I feel like there's this strange sound coming from behind me. Maybe I'm just hearing things. Everything's leveled up! Will I be able to shoot it? Will I be able to shoot it? From this distance, I think the answer is yes. I was expecting to have experienced more damage, of course, but then again, I'm actually upgrading all my stuff so it does more damage. But oh, it's a lovely war. Oh crap, I forgot these things exist. Oh god, no! Which, which spot does the most damage?
I do remember uh, playing this growing uh, up in high school. It's been almost five years since this was actually published. Make that six. Anyway, I gotta stop this thing. I'd like to spoil some stuff for you guys because I have played this before and because I did the Let's Play recently to actually get this published even though it didn't get published because I still have yet to finish the rest of the series for 1.5 or at least when I'm recording this because the rest of 1.5 is yet to be fully uploaded. Oh wait, I just said that. What I mean to say is this is coming after uh, 1.5 in terms of upload uh, chronology. I already know what happens because I've already recorded this, but I'm recording this again because the sound quality will be much better and you can hear uh, me and just me and not the background noise of electromagnetic interference or the sound of whirring uh, fans because those make a lot of noise. And I'm frothing at the mouth like I've got rabies. However, I still want to drink the water on the other side of the room, so that's a good sign. A definite good sign I don't have rabies? Being in love with water. Apparently one of the side effects of rabies is actually being afraid of it. Not entirely sure why, that sounds counterintuitive to the reproductive success of the virus. Get these guys. Oh my god, that did 44 damage! So I wonder I should shoot up there. That and because that would be the most logical place to shoot to begin with. Oh, what are you doing there? Go home. Go home, airships, you're drunk. You're drunk. Go home. Or sink into the abyss with Davy Jones Locker. I'm going to try to take a sip of water. And it's got dust in it. Crap. I don't want to drink that. One of the other reasons I want to dust my room. Damage 44, 44, 44. There we go. Luckily, most of the tiny airships are out of sight and out of mind, so I don't have to worry about those. And hopefully, I can actually hear myself over those loud explosions when I'm editing this. Because if I can't, then I'm gonna have to record this again. I am going to be so pissed. down. 
tells me I'm getting overwhelmed at the moment. Oh snap. Dummy's down. Is that the last of it? Nope, that's the last of it. Full repair! There we go. Am I going to increase damage? Yes, please. So they're going to wait to increase the damage of this? Sure, why not? Doesn't do much for me anyway. What's the final stage? Oh god, that looks disgusting. And it does a lot of damage, too. Uh, spoiler alert, that thing is going to break up into three more airships. Yay, wave completed! I did it! So let's see. I'll get to you guys next time in the next episode. But until then, I'll see you guys... Uh... Wait, I'm having a brain fart again, dang it. What I mean to say is... I was... <laughs> Dang it, I still can't think straight. Anyway, I, what I wanted to say is thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and until then, take it easy.